My Fitness. Hey guys, it's your girl Michaela from My Fitness, and today we're going to go over a side plank. Okay, I'm going to show you the stationary and the moving version so that you have options when you're actually doing this, either with your commercial quickies or in your fast five or just doing it. Okay, so I am lined up on one side, one hip on the floor, same side elbow, and I actually have my forearm and wrist there as well. You want to make sure that your entire body falls in the same vertical plane, right? So my head, my shoulders, and my heels all exist in that same plane. You could just do this and just make sure your body lines up. You also want to make sure your hips are not swung back or swung forward. They want to be properly aligned as well. Now we have a few foot positions and options. This is the most advanced position, okay? You could also split your feet to just modify it slightly, but I only want you to modify if you absolutely can't do it or if you have maybe some foot or ankle issues that prevent you from doing it. Otherwise, it's always a good habit to start with the most advanced option and then use the modifications to scale your way down, okay? As far as your upper body is concerned, I like to actually ball up my fist so that I contract the right muscles in the arm and so that it just kind of props me up. You could also flatten the hand and just place it down. I'm also looking for alignment through my upper body, so elbow and wrist and shoulder roughly in line, okay? Okay, so you're gonna place one hand anywhere but on the floor. I like to put it up here, because again, if it's up here, I know it's out of trouble, okay? You're gonna squeeze your butt, push off your bottom foot, and raise your bottom hip up as high as possible, okay? and then relax. Each time you lift up, go ahead and squeeze that fist just to make sure you're not putting too much pressure on your shoulder, okay? You wanna push up with that bottom hip as high as you can to get maximum crunch or contraction in the abs, and then gently relax. Now, some people like to go on their knees and raise here, but just to keep it real, that's like way beyond a modification. It's almost working nothing. You could pretty much burn the same amount of ab calories taking a nap. <laughs> and, I, and I'm saying that to be funny, but not be funny. I just want you to always understand that modifications are scaling down. It's not to take a baby step or to try to, pro, you know, to, to halt your progress. So if you're gonna modify, I strongly suggest splitting the feet or doing a stationary plank, which is just to hold it here, squeezing for as long as you can. All right, now that you have all the technique that you need for that move, go ahead and try it for a few. You know me, I like 20s, right? So try it for 20 seconds and uh, I'll see you next time. My Fitness.